click on system settings and then select users and groups my username is called test and if you click on the eye icon then you could simply change your username warning changing this username isn't enough watch till the end to learn other important steps so let's continue after changing the username click on ok and then you will need to enter your login password click on unlock and then it shows as if the username is changed but if you would select finder and then click on go select computer select macintosh hd and then open users you could see the folder name of the current user is still the old username and you won't be able to simply rename it so now the hard part starts select settings go to users and groups and then select add user enter your login password and then click on unlock change your user from standard to administrator so we will need to create a temporary username to be able to rename our new usernames directory so give a full name for example temp create a password verify the password and then click on create user this would then create a new user close the settings click on the apple menu and here you could see the username has already changed in here so you need to log out of your user and then select your temporary user enter your password and then log in and then you will have to set up this new username select set up later so that you could quickly finish this setup now if you would open finder and then go to computer macintosh users you would be able to change your old usernames folder but it's important not to do it and not to repeat my mistake because if you would rename in here it would completely unlink your new username which is happy from the old usernames folder that was test and then it will create another username folder and call it test which would then link your new username with this empty new usernames folder which would then cause you to lose all of your settings so don't do it i know it's a bit confusing but don't worry i'm gonna show you the right way and the only way that mac allows now is by using terminal important before proceeding any further make a backup of your users folder open launchpad select other and here you should be able to see the terminal app selected to open it and then type sudo space dscl space dot space hyphen read space forward slash users forward slash and then type your new username's name that you want to link the old directory with and then enter and then enter your password it would not show that you're entering your password but once you entered then press enter and then if you get this error which says eds record not found means that the directory of the new username is not created so first you would need to find the list of all users that are created so type dscl space dot space list space forward slash users space vertical bar space grip space hyphen v space single quote underscore quote and then enter this would show you the list of all the usernames now you would need to go to your old directory so type dscl space dot space hyphen read space forward slash users forward slash and now type the name of your old username which is the name of the folder that you want to change so that it would match the name of your new username for me it was called test and then type space nfs home directory enter if the result is nfs home directory colon space forward slash users forward slash your old username's name then you could now update the old directory for that type the following sudo space dscl space dot space hyphen change space forward slash users forward slash your old username name space nfs home directory forward slash users forward slash your old username space 
forward slash users forward slash your new username so this is it press enter and then you should get a message saying terminal would like to administer your computer administration can include modifying passwords networking and system settings click on allow and then it should change your user directory folder name so now you can close the terminal select Apple menu and then select restart after the restart select your new username and then enter your password to log in select finder click on documents and here you should be able to see all your folders and files and then click on go and then select computer open Macintosh open users now you should see the home icon on your new usernames folder which means we have successfully changed the usernames folder that is the directory and finally select system settings select users and groups click on the eye icon next to the temporary username that we have just created and then click on delete user enter your password and then click on unlock this would then give you three options since we have created it temporary you can select delete the home folder and then click on delete user and now we only got one user with the new username that matches the home directory folder it's such a cumbersome process that maybe it was better to create a new username and then copy all your documents to that new username folder and then delete the old username that could be a better method maybe if you still have any questions let me know in the comments below if this video helped you please don't forget to like and subscribe